Good morning, Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me once again. You know, I'm always out getting the best guests for you, and I've got the chef from Restaurant Impossible, Robert Irvine, and he's going to talk with us how to be fit, healthy, and eat in any lifestyle. Chef, welcome to the Val BB Show. Thank you so much, Val. It's, it's great to be here, and thanks for having me on. Well, thank you so much. I love watching your restaurant impossible, you intimidating all those people. <laughs> I'm intimidating them, fixing them at the same time. Thirty-six hours and ten thousand dollars to fix their lives. Oh, they're better. When, they're always better when you leave them. But I don't know if you get to look at some of the looks they have on their face at you while you're telling them what to do. I think it's just an in- entertaining show. Thank you very much. Eighty percent successful. Exactly. So. And you've been on, how many seasons have you been on? Oh, this is our, we're in the eighth season. You're seeing uh, seven right now. That is so awesome. That really is awesome. And you've got restaurants, you've got this show, and now you're going to tell us today how to eat healthy. Go ahead and tell me because you're the expert. Well, I've got to tell you, you know, first of all, we're all busy. We have busy lifestyles. We have families. We have things going on. The kids have got to go to swim practice, soccer practice, um, and we've got to make time for ourselves. 20 minutes a day minimum, we should be prioritizing how we keep fit. You know, we want to live longer, but it's kind of cool because we can incorporate children and ourselves into our fitness regime and our healthy eating. Healthy eating doesn't mean, you know, no fat, no sugar, no butter, you know, all that type of stuff. And we can't eat hamburgers and hot dogs. But we've also got to intermix that with some healthier foods. So, you know, I, I have two daughters, Annalise and Talia, they're 16 and 12. And what I used to do to, to make it fun and educational about food is take them to supermarkets, let them pick out five spices, five fresh herbs, take them home, and we'd blindfold them and, and test them. And for every one they got right in smell or flavor, I would give them 25 cents. Well, obviously now they're a little bit older and inflation <laughs> catches up with you. So it's probably about $2 uh, a, a right answer now. But... <laughs> You know, our bodies are meant to eat smaller meals. We're not supposed to eat three meals, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're supposed to eat smaller meals more frequently every two and a half hours to speed our metabolism up. And I'm not saying that you've got to go to a gym and you've got to pump iron for hours. What I'm saying is you've got to go out, enjoy the kids, enjoy the environment, spend 20 minutes raising your heart rate, and then come and eat some great food. I'm a chef. I love to put great tasting food with texture on, on um, plates. Um, but I'm also a picky eater. I travel 345 days a year for my job. Uh, I'm visiting troops and, and cancer victims and things like this. So for me, eating on the run is very important. That's why I created the Fit Crunch bars. Fit Crunch, amazing. Peanuts, chocolate, which is great for our heart. 30 grams of protein. We also have a 16 gram protein, one with six grams of sugar and the 16 grams with three grams of sugar. So we're not gonna get that you know, spike of, uh, oh, I feel great, then I want to go to sleep. We want to keep our energy all the way through the day. So by eating healthy, smaller meals, the Fit Crunch Bar can be kind of, you know, is it a snack on the run? Is it kids getting up in the morning that don't eat breakfast and they want to stay focused, put it in their school bag, they can nibble on it, um, and they're focused. And that's what I want to do, educate families into healthier lifestyles, healthy eating, and making sure we eat smaller meals more frequently and exercise. Well, I want to make full disclosure here. Your, your team sent me some, and I thought it was an almond joy when I ate it. It is delicious. It really is. And it doesn't taste like a protein bar. These are good ingredients. You know, we, we take the processes. Again, I'm a chef. So instead of mixing it all in a big bowl and piping it out, we've actually baked the cookie just like you would at home, and we put everything on, roasted nuts, no salted, um, so it's low in salt, sodium, um, and we've really had fun with it. Peanuts, fresh peanuts. Uh, we think about the uh, crunch of Rice Krispies. Well, this is soy crunch, gives it that texture. So again, it can be uh, for your grandmother sitting watching TV that's 80 years old. It can be kids going to school between the ages of you know, six and you know, 56, however, you're, however old you go to school. Um, and people that really want to work out build lean muscle mass, uh, have energy, and focus throughout the day. It, it's not one person for this bar. It's the whole country. I know. It's wonderful. So I thought it was a great idea, something that actually looked good and tastes good. I'm going like, wow, boy, this is creative. <laughs> it, it's, it's really good. At the end of the day, we want something fulfilling. We want something that's healthy. And this is an alternative 
to putting sugar in our bodies in, in vast amounts. Most protein bars are fully loaded with sugar. We don't want that. But what I will say is I'm a big believer in, you know, there should be something sweet at the end of the meal because our brain says, oh, the meal's not finished until we've had something sweet. And that could be jelly on toast in the morning. It can be a small uh, um, dessert at lunchtime and dinner. This, the Fit Crunch, is replacing that. You know, it's a meal replacement. It's a snack in the afternoon. It's something dessert. My wife, Gail, loves these after she's had dinner. Um, so there's lots of usage for this. But I the did biggest mine thing, after a bike ride. I, yeah. I just thought it was great for that. And how many miles do you ride? Oh, we're not on miles yet. We're just riding the bike. That's great. <laughs> and, you know, but that's 20 minutes of exercise that gets it your is. heart pumping, and it's fun. And that's all I want to do is, is kind of enable people to stop thinking about going to the gym as the only, way of, uh, only form of exercise, but also family bonding, family times, cook together, work out together, whatever that means to you and your lifestyle, and kind of focus on healthy eating. Where can we go on the online and find some more, and, and where can people get, get the uh, product? There are various online stores, um, but you can go to fitcrunchbars.com, or you can follow on uh, Twitter and Facebook at, at fitbunch, uh, fitcrunchbars, or you can go on my uh, own website, chefirvine.com. You can get them there. Uh, they'll be coming to retail very soon, uh, within the next month or so. So lots of places to get it, and i got to tell you, and you have tried them, so... I don't need to convince you. I don't need to no. convince anybody. This is a great product. Throw it in your bag. Give it to your kids. Give it to your husband. Let me tell you, it's a great way to get great nutrition. Chef Robert Irvine, I thought you were fabulous on Restaurant Impossible on the Food Network, but you're Thank just you. a fabulous person. Thank you so very much. You're so welcome. Thanks for having me. Good luck with your new product. Thank you. Fun Fitness.